Well, probably no one better understands the relationship between rural and urban America than our next guest. Terry Dietrich is a third generation family farmer from Ames, Oklahoma, who has worked at both the local and national levels to preserve the economic viability of rural America and joins me now here in studio. Now, I'm going to remind some people here, you were first elected to the Farmers Union Board of Directors almost 25 years ago. How, how have you seen rural America change in that time? Oh, Rob, the changes have been just gigantic and major. I've given lots of speeches that, and I've said uh, in the next 10 years you won't recognize agriculture as you know it today. And I've gone back through some of my history and I can go in 10 year blocks and that, that certainly is true. You know, I can remember just, you mentioned 25 years ago. My goodness, I was uh, feeding all my cattle with square bales, uh, feed in sacks, and today we have round bales, we have bulk feed dispensers, and one person can take care of many times more cattle today than we could then. And uh, of course, as we do that, and one farmer uh, produces enough food for at least himself, his family, and 125 other people. Mm -hmm. So uh, how have we done that? We've improved efficiency. So with the changes in technology we've seen, I, and I know you've been president both on the state and national level of the Wheat Growers Association, and that is one industry where technology has, has really changed how we do things. Knowing that, where it takes fewer people to get the same job done, what do we do to ensure that rural America has a future for the next generation? You know, I think one of the things we've really missed a boat on is adding value to our commodities. Several years ago, in fact, I think it was probably the first year Governor Henry was uh, governor, there was a conference in Oklahoma City, uh, economic and labor uh, conference, and I attended that, and one of the speakers uh, was one of the last ones on the program, and I tried to catch him before he got out, and I, he was gone before I could get to him, but he said, Oklahoma, you're a commodity state, and as long as you're a commodity state, you're going to be a poor state. And until you become a technology state, you're going to be poor. Uh, I disagree with that. Yes, we are a commodity state. But you know, one of our problems is all of our commodities, almost all of our commodities, even gas and oil that is not consumed within a state, leaves this state still a raw commodity. And with transportation expenses and issues as they are today, we need to look for ways to add value to the commodities that we do produce and then we have jobs and we have small businesses and we help the state's economy. Instead of shipping our commodities out of state, letting someone else add value and then we buy them back, we need to do it ourselves and we can do that. Well, I certainly think it's important when we face the economic downturn that, that we've been struggling with in, in both urban and in, in rural America that we have seen this before and we have been able to work our way out of it. Bad times always improve efficiency. And we will come out of this. We'll get together, we'll do whatever it takes. That's the American I can. And uh, when we do, we'll be more efficient, uh, we'll be more proficient, and we will be able to improve our production with less input. Well, certainly some issues that are important to all of us, whether we live in or outside the city lights. Terry, thank you for being here. Thank you.